Hello and welcome to the Stuff of Legends. We are the Marvel Legends Hasbro team back with you again, Ryan, Dwight, and Dan, Yo. as always. And we got a quick video for you here today. Dwight's gonna take you through some product development updates on this brand new Giant Man uh, FEP here. And then we've got some special surprises as well. So Dwight, what is new with our friend Hank here? So yeah, uh, this is a uh, early sample. We're still debugging and working through a lot of things, but one thing we wanted to show you was how awesome the eyes work and how you will be able to swap heads and eyes uh, on the different figures. So what you see on Hank here is uh, him kind of looking at you. He's kind of checking you out with his little side eye uh, action. And we still have our zombie head and <laughs> we have the white antennas with the head looking straight forward, hiding it, doo, 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 doo. There we go. So let me show you how you swap this out. It's pretty simple though. You take, his, take him by his uh, torso, pull his head off, move his body over here, get it out of the way. And once you have the head here, there's just a couple easy steps. First on the bottom, there's these little red tabs of his mask. Just pop them off from the faceplate. Once that's free, take your uh, index finger, put it right here at the bridge of the nose on the mask. And imagine you're just peeling a piece of fruit and it just pops right out. And once the head is out, it's in a couple of pieces. Pop the head off. There's an eyepiece attached to the middle. You can pop the eyes off. You can swap it with any different heads, take a different set of eyes, put it on the base of the skull, take the faceplate, put that on, take the brow, and you want to tuck it up underneath the mask. Kind of like that. And then it just pops, just that simple pops back in place pop the little uh, uh, jowls <laughs> clamps back in place, and there you go. And the antennas are very similar as well. They just pull out on a round post, really simple. You can pop them in, and then you can have different types of colors for your antennas, white or black, whichever one you prefer. Pretty simple, easy stuff. Slap it back on Hank, and you've got a fully posable, articulated playable giant man figure. Why don't you uh, articulate the knees, let the fans hear. You like the clickety clack? Yeah, I like the clickety clack, so, you yeah. know? He just got that nice click. Th thunderous ratchets. <laughs> yeah. He's got ratchets all over him. We know uh, that that helps just kind of lock him into place, get him standing up. And this model is still an early deco sample, so you can start to see some of the uh, shadowing being placed on there. We still need to fine tune that. There's other areas like his chest, which is still missing that type of deco. Um, but you can notice that his uh, eyebrows are now the correct color. The early sample had him a much darker brownish red color, so now he's got the proper black blonde uh, hair as he should. And we think he's looking really, really good for still being an early sample. We're really happy with uh, the progress he's made and how uh, structurally sound he is already. And we can't wait to keep uh, tweaking and fussing with him over the next couple months till uh, he's ready to ship and make him as awesome as possible for all of you guys. So still dialing it in. It's is it nice to have a uh, model that you can actually pose and like that prototype who was so fragile by the end of it went, we went to New York Comic Con we took it to London it was kind of like falling apart at the end yeah it's amazing once you see these things in reality and you kind of get a, a sense for the heft I mean he's a he's a big baby boy he's got some weight to him which is nice um, he's a substantial toy the weight it really helps him uh, stay grounded and give him the strength he needs to hold uh, action figures in his hands or have him posed out doing whatever kind of fun stuff you want to do with Giant Man as he will inevitably battle Galactus and Sentinel and other uh, monsters and bad guys down the line. Speaking of Giant Man battling the bad guys, let's take a closer look at our diorama photos. Uh, we did a lot of storytelling throughout the campaign, and so this was that first shot of Giant Man appearing on the scene and coming to the Avengers aid, right? We talked about this awesome diorama shoot with uh, our photographer, Matt. We talked with him back at PulseCon, but uh, at the end of the day, right, the Avengers and Hank won against Ultron and the bad guys. And so we really wanted to take that storytelling we did on the diorama photo shoot when it came to the packaging. So we did another HasLab packaging sketch vote. There were three options again, similar to Galactus, uh, three different choices. We're working again with John Tyler Christopher, who is an awesome artist. He works on tons of Marvel Legends over the years, including our um, two, two most recent HasLabs. And so this was the winning sketch kind of layout perspective that we had um, from JTC. You've got Giant Man and the Avengers doing their victory stroll down the city after their battle 
uh, where they saved everyone. And so you see, you know, we placed some of the other Avengers down there. You can see Captain America up front with his shield because we wanted to really reflect the figures that we used in the diorama photo shoot. So what we wanted to do here, guys, is give you a look at the basically finished front of package, gorgeous illustration. And you can see how amazing this is. Just soak in, soak in all the details. Huge shout out again to Sean on our creative services team who worked closely with uh, John Tyler Christopher on this. And you can just really see how we reflected all of the characters. You've got Cap um, flanked there by Thor, Hawkeye, you've got Hulk uh, in a victory pose there. You've got Iron Man waving to the crowd and Black Widow as well. And you see above Hank's shoulder there is our classic Wasp, who you know is coming in one way or another. But um, yeah, so this will be basically the layout of the package when we get to the eventual unboxing for it. There's some additional extra Easter eggs on these sides and particularly the back of the box, but we're not gonna show that today. We we're just really excited to show you guys the progress on that amazing uh, front of the package art. And we wanted to say thank you for everybody who voted. Uh, yeah. I should have campaigned harder because I don't know if my pick got selected, but uh, we just want to say thank you again <laughs> to all those who voted. Did you vote? Uh, I don't remember. Oh man, all right. But uh, yeah, the shout out to JTC and Sean again. But let's talk more about that wasp. How's that wasp coming to fans? This that time? wasp is is you know you saw the digital render, but I, and I think Dwight might have um, had a few in hand looks. But we have the final production piece here. This is the classic wasp joining the Avengers and Giant Man later this year. So let's just talk um, about this figure. We've got some uh, product images as well on the screen. So I think when we revealed the digital render initially, it was in this configuration with the wings and the standard head with the old school mouthpiece. Dwight, just talk a little bit about more about this figure. This is the first time they're seeing the actual final product images. Yeah, she's absolutely stunning. Um, and the, the details and the way we were able to create them to have them so thin but still rigid and look awesome like her antenna are like little propylene antennas. Her mouthpiece is actually on a boom mic that can slide up and down, but they're all so uh, delicately sculpted and they're perfectly in scale. Often in the past, those things would get really uh, bulbous or warp, but as you can see, they're really, really firm and uh, everything stays exactly where you want it, which is ideal for this type of uh, design. Um, her wings are wings you've seen uh, in the past and they have the ability to either be uh, quad wings or just dual, as you saw in some of the other pictures. The bottom two smaller wings can pop out of the back of her um, wings. So depending on which era you want to uh, show on your shelves and how you want her to be displayed, you can either make her with two wings or four, which is just kind of fun to give you guys a little bit of her extra customizability. And she comes with some extra bits and pieces as well. That's right. So there are some additional pieces. We're going to show it first on screen here. There's an alternate portrait, a unhelmeted Janet likeness with um, some awesome hair. So take them through this sculpt. Yeah, the, the hairstyle is really fun. It's the uh, kind of, it's that classic uh, early era, um, uh, what, 60s-esque kind of inspired hairdo, mm -hmm. which is really, really fun. The inkjet on her face is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think it'll make a nice little uh, alternate piece for you. So you can have her ready for battle with her mask, or you can have her chilling uh, with the rest of the team back at uh, Avengers Mansion without. And she'll also come with some extra hands, of course. So she's got her fist and she's got some open kind of uh, hands for flying poses or reaching out to grab and, uh, and touch other characters, so. Yeah, the photo reel on these comic based figures is just so, so improved. It's so awesome. It seems like that is that used to be the exception. Now it's just the rule. Like all, all of our likenesses are great, it's, so credit to you guys. Oh, thanks, yeah. It's been, a, it's been a blast working on this technology with our partners in PDE and working to perfect this. Uh, our factory absolutely uh, kicks butt day in and day out for us. And it's so hard to look at those amazing figures we did just like five years back, which are amazing. But when you look at the old traditional Tampo art compared to this new process, it, there's like, it's, it's night and day. And uh, I'm so happy that we are able to now include this on our classic figures and can't wait to see uh, it continue to evolve uh, over the next couple of years as well. So this is the complete Wasp offering you see here with two sets of hands, an alternate head, of course, those four wing pieces. And there was some fan speculation on would this be 
a Avengers or Ant-Man themed wave for later this year. And so those were some good guesses, but we are going to uh, reveal here it will not be part of a wave. We do have a lot of cool 2024 summer and fall waves, which you haven't seen. Some, some unexpected things, I think, for sure, but it will not be a wave. But you can't have the Wasp with a classic Hank Pym. So let's go to our reveal image here. Action Whoa. shot again by Matt. Matt really captures, captures Shout the out action. To Matt. So this is, Dwight, what is this? This looks just like the HasLab Hank, but he's six inch scale. What's yeah, going on? Exactly. You know, giant man can get big, he can get small. So why not uh, give you guys the opportunity to have him standing side by side with all of your other Avengers as well. So this is a pinless version of Hank uh, in his classic com uh, costume that matches the uh, color specs of the big 24-inch uh, version that you guys will hopefully be seeing this fall. So it's just a nice way to have uh, either variation for you, whether you want it to be on your six-inch scale proper, or you want to replace them with a big giant supersized one, you now can do that. And, and, and we're souping, that, souping up this offering with Hank Pym with some accessories that I think certain people are really gonna like. It's something we don't do often, but when we do, it's very impressive. What's going on here with his Apparel. Yeah, apparel. I like that. We don't put apparel in often. So he's got our first uh, normal scale lab coat. We did a fabric coat uh, a couple years ago for a beast figure, which beast. was very supersized. But this is a normal scale one that you can use for Hank. You can use it for Bruce or any of your other scientist type characters down the line. He will also come with some lab uh, gear. Um, yeah, he's got his Erlenmeyer flask. He's got a volumetric flask. He's got some sort of tech pad, uh, alternate hands, uh, of course. Uh, and it's just kind of a nice little extra uh, addition to have uh, Janet and Hank in both six inch scale and then uh, Hank in 24 inch scale uh, real, real soon. And then I think the last accessory that is probably one of Dwight's favorite parts of this offering, we teased out at our WonderCon PR event after the panel um, a couple of weeks ago. And so what have we got here? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, a little Pym Particle action on our first uh, official Marvel Legends Quinjet. So there you go. You guys uh, want some vehicles? Now you got a vehicle. Uh, you know, the the, what are the largest vehicle we've ever done in Marvel <laughs> Legends in miniature form. In, in miniature in, form. In mini form. Yeah. yeah. So that's really fun. You got him shrinking down Quinjets. And so uh, we've got some other pictures. Oh, also we forgot where there's another uh, unmasked head for Hank here. Oh, that's right. We've got some images. Oh, that's right. There we go. Yeah. Janet, you know, Janet's got her unmasked head, so Hank needs as well. So there you go. A nice blonde variation of Hank with his flask and Janet and all their science, science stuff. All right, so let's take a look on screen of everything that comes in this amazing two pack. As we just talked about, you've got two alternate heads for each. You've got alternate hands. You've got lab gear. You've got a laptop. You've got a mini Quinjet. This is an awesome two pack set. Let's take a look at the inbox package. We worked here. Uh, with the team, and even though it is in 2024, this is very on theme to the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest Celebration from mm -hmm. 2023. So we went back to that line look. We are back now in window boxes, which is great. So this will be in a window box, as you can see clearly here. And guys, this is going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. It will be available for sale tomorrow, Tuesday, April 10th, starting at 1 p.m. for Pulse Premium users, and then 2 p.m. and onwards for everyone else. And um, yeah, just a little to reflect a little bit back on the strategy, right? We, we did this up front. We knew that these two figures would be part of a two pack that anyone can get. So whether or not you backed, you backed Giant Man, we thank you. If you weren't able to back Giant Man, but you're still interested in having these two figures, now you can easily just get down to Hasbro Pulse and they are not locked behind a campaign. And these will start shipping actually before the, the Giant Man later this year because these guys are ready to go. The Giant Man is still in development um, as we were working through some of the things. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Get pumped for more mm -hmm. of Giant Man. We'll have an official, we'll have an official unboxing uh, when that final uh, sample comes in. And in the meantime, go check out the Hasbro Pulse and order your Wasp and classic Hank Pym uh, on April 9th. Anything else? I think that covered it. That's it, guys. A lot of stuff just for a two pack. A lot of stuff, soft goods, it's awesome. We will be back soon for our next fan stream, so stay tuned for the Hasbro Pulse for all the latest and greatest uh, from Marvel Legends. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. See you. Peace. Mm -hmm.